Hi, I'm Ron Christensen, Sales Manager of Kit Home Builders West. We're standing outside the exterior of our Cedar Canyon Model 2062. You can see this home has been built with a combination of lap siding accented by board and bat above it. We've got this great looking double dormer with accent corbels uh, as part of the dormer treatment. Then with this bay window, you can see that it also gives some unique exterior design. We also have underneath the eave of this home, we have recessed can lighting for great night lighting on your house. So I'd like to invite you inside. We're gonna enter in through this great looking stained fiberglass door with a decorative window. So come on in. We're now inside the foyer of this house. We've come in on ceramic tile flooring, which is one of many options that we have available for foyer flooring. Uh, we come into a carpeted room. You can see that we have some architectural features in this room. We've got a decorative opening in this foyer wall that provides some architectural relief. We also, in the wall between the kitchen and the living room, have some elevated plant ledges pass-throughs that uh, add to the ambiance of the room. We have a chair rail with a painted decorative wall below it accented by a baseboard molding. We've got uh, painted walls and we have multiple colors that are available so as a homeowner you're free to choose those colors that are going to best suit your needs, your tastes. The blinds that we have in this house are actually stained wood blinds. We have those available in a white color as well as a stained wood color again to give you the flexibility and the choices that you'd like to put into your home. And then in this house, we put in a lighted ceiling fan in the living room. Okay, we're now in the great open country kitchen of this house. This is a great example of the flexibility and the customization that we're able to offer at Kit. Uh, if you were to look at the standard kitchen of this house, this kitchen doesn't resemble that in any way. We custom designed this kitchen to incorporate this large rounded base cabinet with raised eating bar. Uh, it gives us much more additional storage space. This house we built with uh, black walnut cabinets, which is one of many uh, cabinet colors and styles that we have available. Uh, we also have uh, fully extending drawer guides in this house that allow the drawer to extend beyond the edge of the countertop so that you have full access to the drawer. And this home was also equipped with the feature of self-closing drawer guides that allow that drawer to close in on itself. Uh, it has a kitchen convenience package and so we, we have a built-in spice rack. Uh, there's also a double roll-out trash can in this house. Um, we've been able to incorporate this large island in this kitchen in this uh, redesigned feature. Uh, it allowed us to put in a vegetable sink here which is close and accessible to the cooking surfaces as we're preparing meals. Uh, we've got a great built-in wall oven and a microwave. And then at the other end of the kitchen, we've put in this walk-in pantry that offers a tremendous amount of storage, accented by this country cupboard. You can see that we've got glass in the cupboard door so that you can show off those important family heirlooms. It's got uh, plate rails in it. And this is just one of many different configurations that we have in that particular feature. We're now in the combined dining family room area of this house, which is just off of that large kitchen. It kind of allows the kitchen to be command central of any activities uh, that are happening out here. Uh, in this area, uh, we've got a fireplace that uh, is an option that in this case is a gas fireplace. We also have it available in a wood burning fireplace many different types of configurations with mantles and surrounds that are available. So again, just a lot of flexibility in the types of, of features and decor items that you can choose in your home. We built this house with laminate flooring. We have multiple colors and styles of laminate flooring. It's a great combination in this area. In this family room, we've got an optional craftsman dormer, which gives us a dormer on the exterior of the house, but then also elevates 
the ceiling in this area which allows us to use an 80 inch window here so it allows much natural light in which is I think is an important feature in the home. From the family room then we move into the dining room. You can see plenty of room here for tables of different sizes and configurations. Uh, we have a little buffet that we're showing here so you can see there's room for additional furniture pieces and then we've got an exterior door that provides access to the outside from the dining room uh, with a micro blind that's built into the inside of it so that it really takes that uh, cleaning chore off of your shoulders. We're now in the master suite of this uh, house. This is actually the bedroom. We've intentionally left the bed out of this room so you can actually see how much room there is for you to place bed and furniture in it. And uh, we've got behind the camera, we've got a huge walk-in closet that's part of this bedroom. Uh, opens up into an area that has uh, sweater and shoe organizers and has double hanging. We've actually put in a small window in that closet that allows natural lighting into that closet, which is kind of a unique feature. From the bedroom then, we come into the master bath area. But I'd like to point out our standard door is a two-panel grand arch door. We also have solid core stain doors that are available. Here we've utilized an optional door trim treatment with a craftsman style where the top header extends beyond the side rails and it's a four-inch trim. So again, it's just one of multiple choices that are available. We've used antique bronze fixtures in this house. So we have antique bronze knob as well as hinges to complement the appointments throughout the house. We're in the master bathroom and you can see we have a lot of storage in this with cabinet doors under each of the labs and you'll notice that we have two lavatory sinks and then two drawer banks so you really kind of have storage that's kind of available and accessible for each sink. Uh, again we're using antique bronze fixtures in this house. Uh, kind of a nice feature that we've put in an open, a transom window above the uh, mirrors that just add to the natural light that comes in from the window above the tub. As we move over to the tub, you'll see that we've got a six-foot soaker tub, again with antique bronze fixtures. In the tub deck, you can see we've got mosaic tile backsplash around it, and then we've carried that mosaic tile to the front apron of the tub, which gives you just a different look. Again, we have multiple choices of that mosaic tile and ceramic tile so that a person can really kind of customize the feel and feature that you want in your bathroom. In this bathroom, we've used Mannington Adura tile, one of many flooring choices that we have in our uh, flooring uh, options. And then we have a separate ceramic tile shower in the uh, commode area. In this hall area off of the kitchen and living room, we have actually what amounts to being our fourth bedroom in this house with a large uh, utility area. And this utility area has the flexibility of having an exterior door put into it uh, for those garage applications that you might possibly want to consider. Uh, we have an optional laundry sink that we put into this utility room. Adjacent to the utility room, we have a third bathroom in this house. Uh, this home we've built with the standard half bath, but we have the uh, flexibility to option in a full bath so we could put a tub or a shower combination in that. Uh, offers great flexibility. So that's our Cedar Canyon Model 2062. I'm Ron Christensen. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to the next home tour.